In the spiritual journey, many people confront challenges that seem impossible to overcome. These challenges may sometimes have roots in the unseen world, particularly in demonic covenants and strongholds. But as believers, we are not left defenseless. The Bible gives us powerful tools for declaration. And the book of Psalms stands as one of the most profound sources of prayers, declarations, and praises that shatter the spiritual chains. I declare over you that the chains of every demonic covenant in your life are broken as you stand firm in the promises of God's word. The Psalms are full of divine power to confront, rebuke, and nullify every evil scheme of the enemy. Do well to subscribe for more prayers tailored just for you on this channel. Let's pray. I declare over you the protection and covering of Psalm 91, which promises, He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. As you abide in the presence of God, no demonic covenant can prevail against you. A covenant is a legal agreement, and in the spiritual realm, covenants with darkness can be established knowingly or unknowingly. This covenant may manifest as persistent sins, family curses, or unexplainable patterns of failure and bondage. But through the word of God, every evil covenant can be broken. The blood of Jesus speaks a better covenant for us. And I declare over you that this covenant speaks deliverance from every chain of the enemy in Jesus' name. In Psalm 34 verse 17 it is written, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. I declare over you that as you cry out to the Lord, He will hear your cry and deliver you from every bondage, every demonic oppression, and every spiritual trap set against you. The word of God is clear. No covenant with darkness can stand against the power of God. I declare over you the truth of Psalm 91 verse 3. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The snare of the fowler represents the traps and schemes of the enemy. And I declare that every trap set against you shall be broken in the name of Jesus. The psalm goes further in verses 5 and 6 to assure us. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. These verses indicates that no form of spiritual attack, whether it comes in the form of fear, disease, or destruction, can harm those who abide in the presence of God. I declare over you that no terror, no arrow, no pestilence, no destruction from the enemy can prevail in your life. You are shielded by the power of God in the name of Jesus. One of the most powerful psalms of deliverance is Psalm 35. King David used the psalm as a battle cry when faced with unjust enemies. It is a plea for God's intervention in the face of adversity, asking God to rise and fight on behalf of the righteous. In the first verse, David cries, Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strife with me. Fight against them that fight against me. I declare that the Lord himself will fight against every demonic power striving against your life. David continues in verse 4, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. I declare that every plan, every demonic force seeking to harm you shall be confounded and put to shame. The Lord will cause confusion in the camps of your enemies and no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. The well-known Psalm 23 is not just a psalm of comfort but a psalm of divine guidance and protection. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This declaration reveals that God himself leads and protects his people. I declare that the Lord will lead you beside still waters, away from every demonic turbulence and chaos. When the enemy tries to bring confusion, the Lord will restore your soul and lead you in paths of righteousness. Verse 4 states, Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I declare that no matter what valley of darkness or demonic presence you walk through, you will fear no evil, for God is with you. His rod and his staff are your weapons of comfort and defense in Jesus' name. In Psalm 27, David declares the Lord as his light and salvation, stating, 
the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I declare over you that the light of God shines in every area of darkness in your life. Every Eden covenant, every demonic influence must flee in the name of Jesus because the Lord is your light and salvation. Verse 2 of the psalm says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. I declare over you that every wicked enemy, every spiritual force that comes to destroy you shall stumble and fall. The Lord will cause them to be defeated before you in Jesus' name. In Psalm 121, we are reminded of where our help comes from. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2. I declare over you that your help comes from the Lord. No demonic covenant, no spiritual attack can overpower the creator of heaven and earth who fights for you in Jesus' name. The psalm continues with the promise of divine protection. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. I declare that the Lord will preserve you from all evil and your soul will be kept safe from every spiritual attack. The demonic covenants that have tried to claim you are nullified, for the Lord himself is your keeper in Jesus' name. Psalm 3 is a prayer of deliverance written by David when he was fleeing from his son Absalom. It begins with David acknowledging the multitude of enemies against him. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. But despite the overwhelming opposition, David declares his trust in God. I declare that no matter how many enemies or demonic forces rise against you, the Lord is your shield and your glory. Verse 7 of Psalm 3 cries out, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou art smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. I declare over you that the Lord will arise on your behalf and break every power of every demonic enemy that has risen against you. The power of darkness will be shattered and the Lord will give you victory in every battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Throughout the Psalms we see the power of declaring the word of God in the face of opposition. The enemy thrives on fear, doubt and ignorance of God's promises. But when we stand on the word, we declare victory over every demonic covenant. The Bible says in Proverbs 18:21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. As you declare the word of God over your situation, every chain of bondage is broken and every demonic covenant is destroyed in Jesus' name. Prayer is the key to breaking free from any spiritual stronghold. The Psalms are filled with prayers of deliverance, protection and victory. When praying the Psalms, it is important to do so with faith and authority. Jesus has given us authority over all the power of the enemy and we must exercise that authority in prayer. I declare that as you pray the word of God, you will experience breakthrough and freedom from every demonic covenant that has tried to claim your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I declare over you that the word of God is sent forth into your life right now, bringing healing and deliverance from every destruction the enemy has planned. Every demonic covenant is nullified by the blood of Jesus and you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that every demonic stronghold that has taken root in your life is broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that the grip of the enemy is loosed and you are set free as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him I will trust. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and fortress against every demonic attack in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold that the enemy has built around your life is dismantled in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be held captive by the forces of darkness that have tried to control your thoughts, actions, and destiny in Jesus' name. The Lord is your defender, and I decree that he is fighting for you, pulling down every spiritual stronghold that has kept you bound in Jesus' name. In his refuge, no evil can touch you. 
and his fortress surrounds you with divine protection in Jesus name the Lord's power breaks through every wall that the enemy has erected to keep you in bondage God's word in Psalm 18 verse 2 declares the Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer my God my strength in whom I will trust I declare over you that the Lord is your deliverer and every demonic fortress that has risen up in your life is turned down by the power of his might. The chains of bondage that have held you captive for so long are broken in the name of Jesus. You are delivered from every spiritual stronghold for the Lord is your strength in Jesus name. I decree that you will trust in the Lord who is your rock and your foundation. And no demonic force can shake or move you in Jesus' name. Your foundation is secure in God and every evil plot that has been formed against you is destroyed by the power of God's deliverance. I lift up God's promise in Psalm 144 verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. I declare over you, that the Lord has trained your hands for war and your fingers for battle. Every demonic stronghold that has been set against you is turned down as you fight the good fight of faith in Jesus' name. You are equipped with spiritual weapons to dismantle every stronghold of the enemy in Jesus' name. I decree that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. That's from 2 Corinthians 10.4. You are armed with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And as you declare His Word, every fortress of darkness crumbles. I declare that you will rise up in the strength of the Lord and every battle you face against the power of darkness will result in victory through Christ Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord is the stronghold of your life and every demonic stronghold must bow to his authority in the name of Jesus. Fear will no longer have a hold over you for the light of God's presence dispels every shadow of darkness in Jesus' name. I decree that you will walk in the confidence of God's salvation knowing that no power of hell can stand against you in Jesus' name. Every stronghold of fear Doubt, confusion, and oppression is broken by the light of God's truth. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will no longer be afraid for the Lord's light shines brightly over your life and every demonic force that has tried to shroud you in darkness is scattered in the name of Jesus. God's word declares in Psalm 34, 17. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. He delivers them out of all their troubles. I declare over you that as you cry out to the Lord, He hears you and delivers you from every demonic stronghold that has caused you trouble in the name of Jesus. The Lord here is attentive to your prayers and His mighty hand is stretched out to save you. I decree that every stronghold that has caused you to suffer in silence, every demonic force that has tried to isolate you is broken in the name of Jesus. The Lord is delivering you from all trouble and His deliverance brings you into a place of peace, victory and freedom. No longer will you be bound by the chains of oppression for the Lord is your deliverer and His power sets you free. As it is written in Psalm 9 verse 9, the Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge from every form of oppression in Jesus' name. Every demonic stronghold of oppression that has sought to weigh you down to steal your joy, your peace and your strength is shattered by the hand of God in Jesus' name. The Lord is your refuge and no demonic spirit can oppress you any longer. I decree that you will no longer live under the weight of spiritual oppression but you will rise up in the freedom and victory that Christ has given you in Jesus' name. The strongholds of oppression are turned down and you are lifted up by the hand of the Lord into a place of safety, peace, rest in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God declares in Psalm 140 verse 1, Rescue me, Lord, from evil doers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I declare over you that the Lord rescues you from every evil plot, from every demonic plan that has been formed against you in the name of Jesus. 
the strongholds that the enemy has built up to tear up war in your life are destroyed by the power of God. I decree that every evil plan that has been devised to bring destruction, chaos, or confusion into your life is dismantled in the name of Jesus. The Lord's protection surrounds you and no evil plot can succeed. Every stronghold of violence, every demonic force that has tried to stir up war in your life is defeated by the power of God's word in Jesus name. You are rescued from the hand of the enemy and the plans of the wicked are brought to nothing in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and strength in every time of trouble. No demonic stronghold can stand against the strength of God. I decree that every stronghold that has brought trouble into your life is broken for the Lord is your very present help in the name of Jesus. He is with you in the midst of every battle and his strength sustains you. Every evil force that has sought to bring trouble, confusion or strife into your life is defeated by the presence of God. I declare that you will not be shaken for the Lord is your refuge and his strength carries you through every trial in the name of Jesus. God's word in Psalm 91 3 declares, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you that the Lord delivers you from every snare of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every trap, every plot, every demonic stronghold that has been laid to ensnare you is destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Lord's deliverance is sure. And I decree that you are free from every peril that has tried to bring harm to your life in Jesus' name. No demonic snake can hold you captive. For the Lord's hand reaches down to pull you out of every pit. I declare that every stronghold of sickness, disease, or spiritual attack is broken. And you are delivered by the power of God's might in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord delivers you from every stronghold of the enemy in Jesus' name. Every demonic force that has risen up against you, every stronghold that has seemed too powerful to overcome is defeated by the hand of God in Jesus' name. I decree that the enemies of your soul are no match for the power of God's deliverance. You are set free from every force of hatred, jealousy and evil that has tried to bring you down in Jesus' name. The Lord is your deliverer and he is stronger than any power of hell. I declare that the strongholds of hatred and opposition that have come against you are turned down and you are victorious through Christ in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God, in Psalm 18:29, it declares, For by you I can run against a troop, and by my God I can leap over a wall. I declare over you that through the power of God you can overcome any stronghold in Jesus' name. Every wall that the enemy has built around your life, every barrier that has been placed in your path is broken by the power of God. I decree that you will leap over every obstacle. For the Lord is with you in Jesus' name. No demonic stronghold can keep you from moving forward into the destiny that God has for you in Jesus' name. I declare that you will run with strength and every troop of the enemy that has tried to oppose you will be defeated in the name of Jesus. The Lord's power enables you to overcome every challenge and you will rise above every stronghold that has tried to keep you down in Jesus name I declare over you that as you call on the Lord he answers you and sets you free from every distressing stronghold in the name of Jesus every demonic force that has tried to keep you in a place of confinement limitation or oppression is broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus I decree that the Lord is setting you in a broad place a place of freedom, expansion and blessing. Every stronghold that has tried to restrict your life, your purpose and your destiny is turned down by the power of God. I declare that you are free from distress and the Lord is bringing you into a place of peace joy and abundance in Jesus name. The strongholds of limitation are no more for the Lord has set you free. The shadow of the Almighty is your shield safeguarding you from every adversary and spiritual attack. I declare over you that every scheme, plan and attack of the enemy is thwarted by the overwhelming protection of God in Jesus name. The Lord's shadow covers you, making you invulnerable to the weapons formed against you. No matter how the enemy tries to approach, I declare over you that he will find you completely protected under the divine canopy of the Almighty in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and your fortress in the midst of spiritual warfare. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. I declare over you that as you trust in the Lord, he becomes your fortress against every attack of the enemy. I declare that every enemy, whether visible or invisible, is met with the impenetrable defense of the Lord in Jesus' name. The fortress of God is strong and unyielding, and no enemy can breach its walls. The Lord's protection is comprehensive, covering every aspect of your life. I declare over you that no weapon forged by the enemy can succeed against the fortress that God has established around you in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord delivers you from every snare of the enemy. Psalm 91 verse 3 promises, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you that every trap set by the enemy to ensnare you is dismantled by the Lord's intervention. The snares of deception, deceit and malevolence laid out by our enemies are exposed and rendered powerless. I declare that the Lord's deliverance is active and effective, rescuing you from every plot and scheme designed to harm you in Jesus' name. The perilous pestilence that seeks to destroy you is neutralized by God's divine protection. You are free from the traps of the enemy, walking in the liberty and safety provided by your deliverer in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you are covered with the Lord's protective wings, making you safe from every attack in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 4 declares, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I declare over you that the Lord's wings provide a comprehensive shield against every assault from the enemy in Jesus' name. The feathers of divine protection create an impenetrable barrier keeping all forms of spiritual and physical harm at bay. I declare over you that the truth of God's word acts as a powerful shield deflecting the arrows of falsehood, fear and intimidation aimed at you by the enemy in Jesus' name. You are enveloped by God's wings, secure and protected from all the adversarial plans of darkness. I declare over you that you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 states, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare over you that fear has no place in your life because the Lord's protection is comprehensive and all-encompassing. Whether the enemy's attacks comes under the cover of darkness or in the brightness of day, I declare over you that you are shielded from every form of assault by the enemy in Jesus' name. The terror of the night, the arrows of hostility, and the destructive forces that aim to overwhelm you are all defeated by the Lord's mighty hand. I declare over you that you walk in fearless confidence, knowing that God's protection surrounds you in every situation in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that even if a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, it shall not come near you. Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8 asserts, A thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. I declare over you that the Lord's protection is so powerful that you remain untouched even in the midst of widespread calamity and destruction in Jesus' name. The plans of your enemies, however numerous, cannot affect you because you are under the Lord's divine shield. I declare over you that you will witness the defeat of the wicked, but remain unscathed in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no evil shall befall you, and no plague shall come near your dwelling in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 9 to 10 declare, Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even my most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I declare over you that by making the Lord your refuge and dwelling place, you have secured his protection over every aspect of your life in Jesus' name. The evil schemes of your enemies and the plagues they wish to send your way are neutralized by the Lord's divine intervention. I declare over you that your dwelling is sanctified by the presence of God, ensuring that no harm or danger can enter in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord's angels are assigned to guard you and protect you from every attack of the enemy. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 say, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. 
I declare over you that the Lord has dispatched his angels to watch over you, ensuring that every attack of the enemy is intercepted in Jesus' name. These divine beings are your protectors, lifting you up and preventing any harm from coming near you. I declare over you that the angels are actively engaged in safeguarding you from every threat and their presence ensures that you are upheld in every situation in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you have been given authority to trample upon every adversary and every spiritual force of darkness in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 13 states, You shall thread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot. I declare over you that the power of God within you enables you to overcome every adversary that the enemy sends your way. The lion, the cobra and the serpent, symbols of the enemy's power and deception are all under your feet. I declare over you that you have the authority to defeat every attack of the enemy and to destroy every weapon formed against you. The power of Jesus Christ enables you to walk in victory over every spiritual force that seeks to harm you in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will deliver and honor you because of your love for him. Psalm 91 verse 14 declares, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. I declare over you that the Lord's love for you is the basis for his deliverance and protection in Jesus' name. Because you have set your love upon the Lord, he will deliver you from every attack, every scheme and every plan of the enemy. I declare over you that the Lord is your shield, your fortress, and your deliverer. As it is written in Psalm 91 verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I declare over you that you are hidden in the secret place of the Most High, where no evil plan can prevail against you in Jesus' name. The shadow of the Almighty covers you, shielding you from every scheme, every plot, and every trap of the enemy. The presence of God surrounds you, making you untouchable to the forces of darkness. I declare over you that the plans of the enemies are exposed, dismantled, and utterly destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and His truth is your shield against the lies of the enemy. As Psalm 91 verse 2 declares, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. I declare over you that you are safe in the stronghold of God's love. The Lord is your fortress, impenetrable by the enemy's schemes. Every lie, every deception, every evil whisper that the enemy has sent your way is silenced by the truth of God's word in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord's truth prevails in your life, tearing down every stronghold of lies and replacing them with the light of his wisdom in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are delivered from every snare and hidden trap set by the enemy. Psalm 91 verse 3 states, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you that every hidden trap, every subtle snare and every covert operation of the enemy against you is exposed and rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. The Lord delivers you from the snare of the fowler. The enemy's attempts to catch you unawares are thwarted by the watchful eyes of the Almighty. I declare over you that the Lord is your deliverer, rescuing you from every peril, every danger, and every threat that seeks to harm you in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every evil plan is dismantled by the power of God in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord covers you with his wings and under his protection no evil can come near you. Psalm 91 verse 4 says, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I declare over you that you are hidden under the wings of the Almighty where no evil plan can reach you in Jesus' name. The protective wings of God are like a fortress around you, impenetrable by the forces of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you that the truth of God is your shield, protecting you from every lie and deception that the enemy has devised in Jesus' name. The plans of the enemy are like arrows that fall short, unable to penetrate the shield of God's truth that surrounds you. I declare over you that you are safe, secure, and untouchable, under the protection of God's wings in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you will not fear any terror by day or by night for the Lord is with you. Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 declare, 
you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare over you that fear has no place in your life, for the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The terrors of the night, the unseen dangers, and the destructive plans of the enemy that strike in broad day are powerless against you in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding guards your heart and mind, keeping you safe from every threat in Jesus' name. I declare over you that even in the midst of great danger, the Lord protects and preserves you in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8 declare, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. I declare over you that though danger may surround you, it shall not come near you, for the Lord is your shield and protector in Jesus' name. The enemy's plans to bring destruction and calamity upon you are foiled by the hand of God. I declare over you that you will witness the defeat of the enemy's plans, but they shall not touch you. The Lord has set a hedge of protection around you, and no evil plan can penetrate it in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord is your defender, and he fights for you, ensuring that you emerge victorious from every battle in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no evil shall befall you. No plague shall come near your dwelling in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 9 to 10 declare, Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I declare over you that your home is a sanctuary of peace, protected by the presence of God in Jesus' name. The enemy's plans to bring harm to you and your loved ones are thwarted by the power of the Almighty. I declare over you that no evil plan can succeed against you. For the Lord himself is your refuge in Jesus' name. Your home is under the divine protection of God. And every evil scheme is rendered powerless in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus covers your household. And no plague, no disaster, no evil plan can come near it in Jesus' name. I declare that God's angels are assigned to protect you, guarding you in all your ways in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 say, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. I declare that the angels of the Lord are encamped around you, protecting you from every evil plan in Jesus' name. These mighty warriors of heaven stand guard over you, ensuring that the enemy's schemes do not succeed. I declare over you that you are surrounded by a heavenly host that keeps you safe from every harm in Jesus' name. The angels of God bear you up, keeping you from stumbling and falling into the trap set by the enemy. I declare over you that the Lord's angels are your protectors and no evil plan can succeed against you for they are vigilant, ever watchful and ready to defend you in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you have been given authority over all the power of the enemy and you shall trample upon every force of darkness in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 13 declares, You shall thread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on the foot. I declare over you that you have been empowered by the Holy Spirit to trample upon every evil force that rises against you in Jesus' name. The lion and the cobra, symbols of the enemy's power and deception, are under your feet. I declare over you that the Lord has given you authority to destroy the works of the enemy, to crush every stronghold and to tear down every barrier that the enemy has erected in your life in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no force of darkness can stand against you. For you carried the authority of Jesus Christ, who has already won the victory. Every evil plan is destroyed, every scheme is overturned, and the enemy is defeated under your feet in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord delivers and exalts you because you love him. Psalm 91 verse 14 states, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. I declare over you that the Lord delivers you from every attack, every plan, and every scheme of the enemy in Jesus' name. Because you have set your love upon the Lord, He rescues you from every snare. I declare over you that the Lord lifts you up, setting you high, far above the reach of the enemy's plans in Jesus' name. The Lord exalts you, honoring you with His presence and His favor. 
I declare over you that the enemy's plans to bring you low, to cause you to stumble and to destroy your purpose are utterly defeated by the power of God in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord hears your cries and answers you in times of trouble in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 15 declares, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I declare that the Lord is attentive to your prayers and he will answer you when you call on him. In times of trouble, the Lord is with you, guiding you through every challenge and delivering you from every evil plan in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord honors you, exalting you above your enemies and making his favor known in your life in Jesus' name. The enemy's plans to cause confusion, distress and trouble in your life are overturned by the Lord's intervention. I declare over you that you are delivered from every trouble, every evil, every trial and every tribulation and the Lord's peace reigns in your heart and life in Jesus' name. I declare that the Lord satisfies you with long life and shows you his salvation. Psalm 91 verse 16 concludes, With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I declare over you that you shall live a long and fulfilled life, free from the oppression of the enemy in Jesus' name. The Lord satisfies you with the fullness of his blessings and you shall see his salvation manifest in every area of your life in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord's salvation is not just for eternity, but for the here and now in Jesus' name. You are saved, healed, delivered, and set free by the power of God in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 27 verse 13. Your life shall be a testimony of God's faithfulness, His protection and deliverance in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord is your refuge and fortress, your God in whom you trust. As it is written in Psalm 91 verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I declare over you that you are securely hidden under the wings of the Almighty, where no evil can penetrate in Jesus' name. The presence of God surrounds you and His protection envelops you like a shield. I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every Every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned in Jesus' name. For this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is from him, as stated in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I declare over you that every evil stronghold in your life is broken in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. I declare over you that the Lord is your stronghold, your place of safety in times of trouble in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold of fear, doubt, oppression is dismantled by the power of God in Jesus' name. The Lord is your refuge, a strong tower where the righteous can run to and are safe. I declare over you that the Lord is your deliverer and he breaks every chain that seeks to bind you in Jesus' name. By the authority of Jesus Christ, I command every evil spirit, every demonic force that has tried to establish a stronghold in your life to flee in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are delivered from every trap of the enemy in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 3 declares, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you that every evil scheme, every plot, every plan that the enemy has devised against you is nullified in the name of Jesus. The Lord delivers you from the snare of the fowler, the hidden trap set to ensnare your soul. I declare over you that you are free from every entanglement, every deception, every lie of the enemy in the name of Jesus. The perilous pestilence that walks in the darkness, the dangers that you cannot see are driven away by the light of God's truth. The Lord is your deliverer and his truth is your shield and buckler, protecting you from every assault of the enemy in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you are covered by the protective wings of God in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 4 states, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I declare over you that you are safe under the shelter of God's wings, where no harm can touch you in Jesus' name. The Lord's truth surrounds you, acting as a shield that deflects every fiery dart of the wicked one. I declare over you that the lies and accusations of the enemy cannot penetrate the protective covering of God's truth in the name of Jesus. 
every falsehood is exposed and rendered powerless by the light of his word i declare over you that you walk in the truth of god and this truth is your defense against all the attacks of the enemy in jesus name i declare over you that you will not be afraid of any terror by day or by night in the name of jesus psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 say you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that fly by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare over you that fear has no place in your life in Jesus' name. For the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. The terrors that come in the night, the unseen dangers and the destructive forces that roam in the light of day are powerless against you because the Lord is your protector. I declare over you that your heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord, and you shall not be moved by any threat or danger in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are victorious even when surrounded by danger in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8 declare, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. I declare over you that though thousands may fall around you, the danger shall not come near you because the Lord is your defender in the name of Jesus. The Lord has set a hedge of protection around you and no evil can break it. I declare over you that you will witness the defeat of the enemy, not by your might, but by the power of God in the name of Jesus. The wicked plans of the enemy shall fail and you will stand victorious because the Lord fights for you. I declare over you that the Lord has surrounded you with his mighty angels who will keep you safe in all your ways in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Psalm 91 verses 9 to 10 declares, Because you have made it the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I declare over you that your home is a sanctuary of peace, protected by the presence of the Almighty, in the name of Jesus. No plague can afflict, because the Lord himself is your refuge. I declare over you that the Lord has set a boundary around your home that no evil spirits can cross. Your dwelling is a place of safety, a place where the peace of God reigns and every attempt by the enemy to bring harm is thwarted in Jesus' name. I declare over you that your home is filled with the light of God and darkness has no place therein. I declare over you that God's angels are watching over you, guarding you in all your ways in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 say, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. I declare over you that the angels of the Lord are encamped around you, keeping you safe from all harm in Jesus' name. These mighty warriors of heaven are assigned to protect you, to guide you, and to keep you from stumbling. I declare over you that you are never alone, for the Lord's angels are with you bearing you up and ensuring that you do not fall in Jesus name. They stand guard over you day and night and no evil can penetrate their protection. I declare over you that you walk in the divine protection of God's angels who are ever vigilant and ready to defend you against any attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you have authority over all the power of the enemy in Jesus name. I declare over your home that it is covered and protected under the shadow of the Almighty in Jesus' name. As you make the Lord your dwelling place, His divine presence envelops your home, ensuring that it remains safe from any harm. I declare that your home is a sacred place of the Most High and it is a sanctuary that no evil can intrude in. The shadow of the Almighty shields every corner of your dwelling, creating a fortress that the enemy cannot breach in Jesus' name. In the quiet and peace of God's presence, your home is secure from all forms of danger and adversity in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Lord is your refuge and your fortress. As described in Psalm 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I declare over your home that the Lord's refuge encompasses every room, every space and every inhabitant in Jesus' name. The Lord's fortress stands strong around your home creating an impenetrable barrier against all forms of attack in Jesus' name. I declare that as you trust in the Lord, He becomes your home's protector, ensuring that it remains safe from any threats. 
be they physical, spiritual, or emotional, in the name of Jesus. The fortress of God's protection ensures that every plan of the enemy is thwarted and every attempt to bring harm is defeated. Your home is fortified by God's promises and his unwavering faithfulness in the name of Jesus. I declare over your home that the Lord delivers you from every snare and peril in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 3 states, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over your home that every trap set by the enemy is dismantled and rendered powerless by God's intervention in Jesus' name. The snares of deception, envy and malice are neutralized as the Lord's deliverance protects your home in Jesus' name. I declare that no perilous pestilence, whether physical or spiritual, can approach your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. The Lord's divine protection ensures that your home is free from any harmful influences, sickness or attacks in the name of Jesus. I declare that you and your loved ones are safeguarded from every threat that seeks to disrupt the peace and harmony within your home in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your home that it is covered by the Lord's protective wings in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 4 declares, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I declare over your home that the Lord's wings provide a comprehensive shield that encompasses every part of your dwelling in Jesus' name. His feathers create a protective barrier, keeping all forms of danger at bay. I declare over your home that the truth of God's word acts as a powerful shield against every attack from the enemy in Jesus' name. I declare over your home that fear has no place here. As Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 assures us, You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I declare over your home that the terror of the night and the arrows that fly by day cannot penetrate its sanctity in the name of Jesus. The destructive forces that seek to bring harm or chaos are powerless against the Lord's protection. I declare over your home that fear is replaced with peace, knowing that God's protection is all-encompassing. Every plan of destruction, every attack in the darkness, and every weapon formed against your home is defeated by the mighty hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your home that even if thousands fall around you, it shall not come near you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 7 to 8 promise us that a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. I declare over you that your home has the Lord's protection. And the Lord's protection is so powerful in your home that no calamity or disaster can approach it in Jesus' name. The devastation that affects others does not touch your dwelling because the Lord's favor surrounds you. I declare that your home is a place of refuge and safety where you will witness the triumph of God's protection over every adversarial force in Jesus' name. The Lord's favor ensures that your home remains untouched and secure, even in the midst of widespread adversity in Jesus' name. I declare over your home that no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Psalm 91 verses 9 to 10 assures us, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I declare over your home that by making the Lord your refuge, you have secured His protection over every aspect of your dwelling in Jesus' name. I declare that no evil, be it physical, emotional, or spiritual, can penetrate the safety of your home. The plagues and affliction that may seek to invade other places are repelled by the Lord's divine shield. Your home is a sanctuary of health peace and divine protection, safeguarded by the Most High in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your home that the Lord's angels are assigned to guard and protect it from every attack in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I declare over your home that the Lord has commissioned his angels to watch over and protect it. These divine guidance are actively engaged in keeping your home secure from every form of attack in Jesus' name. I declare that the angels are vigilant and attentive, preventing any harm from coming near your dwelling in Jesus' name. I declare over your home that you have been given authority over every adversary and spiritual force of darkness. 
Psalm 91 verse 13 states, You shall thread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample on that foot. I declare over your home that the power of God enables you to overcome every adversarial force that may try to invade your space in Jesus' name. The lion, the cobra, and the serpent, symbols of the enemy's power, are trampled underfoot by the authority given to you by God. I declare that every spiritual force of darkness is defeated and rendered powerless against the protection that surrounds your home. You walk in victory over every attack and I empower to maintain a heaven of peace and security in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your home that the Lord will deliver you and honor you because of your love for him. Psalm 91 verse 14 declares, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. I declare over your home that the Lord's deliverance and honor are evident because of your love for him. The Lord's promise to deliver you extends to every aspect of your home, ensuring that it remains protected from any threats. I declare that the Lord will exalt and honor your dwelling, making it a place of divine favor and blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Psalm 1 verses 1 to 2, the psalmist declares, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I declare over you that the Lord is your shelter and in Him you will find rest and safety. No evil can overcome the child of God who remains within the refuge of His presence. When you plead for mercy, Remember that the Almighty surrounds you with His protection, keeping you safe from the plans of the wicked in Jesus' name. Evil may surround you, seeking to steal your peace, joy, and hope, but God's refuge is a shield that cannot be breached. I declare over you that as you take refuge in the Most High, no evil will befall you, and no disaster will come near your dwelling in Jesus' name. God's angels are assigned to guard you, ensuring that you do not stumble or fall even when the darkness closes in. Jesus taught us to pray for deliverance from evil in Matthew 6, 13, saying, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I declare over you the deliverance of the Lord from all evil schemes, powers, and forces that may be working against you. Just as God delivered the Israelites from the oppressive hand of Pharaoh, I declare over you his mighty deliverance from those who seek to harm or oppress you in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you will fear no evil because the Lord is with you. His presence is your comfort, his rod is your protection, and his staff is your guide. You are never alone for the Lord walks with you through every trial and delivers you from every evil in Jesus' name. I declare over you that every evil plot of the enemy is dismantled, every trap set against you is broken, and every weapon formed against you will not prosper in Jesus' name. The Lord will fight for you, just as he fought for his people at the Red Sea. The same God who parted the waters and swallowed up the armies of Pharaoh is at work on your behalf in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no force of darkness can prevail against the might of God in Jesus' name. Lamentations 3, 22 to 23 reminds us that because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I declare over you that the mercy of God surrounds you like a protective shield. His mercies are new each morning, even in the face of evil forces that seek to destroy in Jesus' name. In your prayer, plead for his mercy, for it is his mercy that withholds judgment and delivers you from the hands of the wicked. Even when evil surrounds you, it is the mercy of God that keeps us standing. I declare over you that his mercy is greater than any attack of the enemy. The forces of darkness may rage, but they will never outmatch the mercy and the love of our Savior. His mercy will vindicate you, lifting you out of the pit of despair and bringing you into a place of hope and restoration. Like David who cried out for mercy and was delivered from his enemies, so too shall you experience God's deliverance through his merciful hand. Psalm 57, 1-3 Psalm 35 is a powerful plea for vindication against the evil one who sought to destroy David. In verses 1 to 3, David pleads, Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me, fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. I declare over you that God himself will contend with those who contend against you. 
the Lord will arise and defend you against every accusation, every false word, and every evil deed that has been aimed in your direction in Jesus' name. Just as God vindicated David from the evil plots of King Saul and others who sought his life, I declare over you that he will vindicate you from every enemy, known and unknown. When you are falsely accused, when evil schemes are plotted in secret against you, God will bring justice in Jesus' name. I declare over you that God's righteousness will shine like the dawn and his justice like the noonday sun. Psalm 37 verse 6. The Lord will expose every hidden scheme and bring to light the truth. I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. For it is written in Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. The forces of evil may try to rise against you, but their schemes will be brought to nothing. They may plot in secret, but the Lord says all. I declare over you the assurance that the Lord is your shield, your refuge, and your stronghold. His mercy surrounds you like a fortress, and his angels stand guard over you in Jesus' name. As you cry out for mercy, you remember that the battle is not yours but the Lord's. In 2 Chronicles 20 verse 15, the word of God says, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army for the battle is not yours but God's therefore I declare over you that the Lord will fight for you and defeat every evil power that rises against you in Jesus name whatever spiritual forces or evil people are working against you their power is dwarfed by the mighty God the Lord will stretch out his hand of mercy and crush your enemies under his feet. I declare that God's protection over you is like a mighty shield covering you from all harm. When the enemy sets traps or snares for you, the Lord's mercy will deliver you. Even in times of danger, God will be your fortress and he will cover you under the shadow of his wings in Jesus' name. I declare over you that every plot of evil will be dismantled by the authority of Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you power to thread on the serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. By the power of his name, I declare over you that no demonic force, no evil person, no spiritual wickedness shall arm you. You have been given authority in Christ to trample over every work of darkness. I declare over you that the evil forces working against your life will be crushed underfoot by the power of God. They may come at you one way, but they will flee before you in seven different ways. This is the heritage of those who trust in the Lord. I declare over you that peace will reign in your life even in the midst of conflict because the Prince of Peace is with you. In Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord is fighting for you today. The enemies you see today, you will see no more for the Lord will drive them away from you. Just as it parted the Red Sea, making a way where there seemed to be none, God will make a way for you to escape every snare of the enemy. Father, you are the God who sees and hears the cries of your people. In 1 Peter 3.12, your word says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. Lord, we plead for your mercy. See the injustice, see the oppression, and rise on behalf of your children. I declare over you that your cries for mercy will not go unanswered. God hears you and he is moving even now to bring deliverance. I declare over you that your enemies will stumble and fall for the Lord is fighting on your behalf. I declare over you the promise of Psalm 34 verse 7 which says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivered them. The Lord's angels are stationed around you and they will deliver you from every trap, every scheme and every attack. The evil plans of the enemy are being thwarted and the angels of God are carrying out his command to protect and preserve your life. I declare over you that every evil doer who arises against you will be cut down by the hand of God. They may appear to prosper for a season but their downfall is certain. For the Lord is just and will not allow evil to prevail over his people. I declare over you the powerful promise of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I declare over you that you are an overcomer in Christ Jesus. The power of the Holy Spirit within you is greater than any evil force in this world. The enemy may come against you with all his might, but you stand victorious in Christ because the one who lives in you has already conquered death, hell, and the grave. I declare over you that no harm will come near you because the Lord is your defender, your protector, 
and your strong tower. I declare over you that God's faithfulness will never fail. He will establish you and protect you from every evil attack. The schemes of the enemy will not prosper. For God is your shield, your rock, and your salvation. I declare over you that the Lord's mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Evil will not prevail, for God's hand is upon you. The Lord will keep you from all harm and he will deliver you from every attack of the enemy. We stand in faith, believing that your mercy is greater than any evil that comes against us. Heavenly Father, as I come before you today, I acknowledge your mercy and holiness. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is none like you in heaven or on earth. You sit on the throne ruling over all and your power knows no limits. As your child, I bring before you my plea for mercy, trusting in your grace and your promise to protect and deliver your people from evil. Heavenly Father, in the face of overwhelming evil, we plead for your mercy. Like David cried out in the Psalms, we too lift our voices to you for deliverance. When the wicked rise up, they will fall because the Lord is on our side. The evil intentions of men will be exposed and overturned by the righteous hand of God. Thank you for your mercy, your protection, and your power over all evil. As we stand on the promises of your word, we declare victory over every evil force that seeks to arm us. We plead for your mercy, and you will establish us in peace. I declare over you deliverance from every form of oppression, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual in Jesus' name. The enemy seeks to oppress you with burdens, to weigh you down with worries, and to chain you with addictions and sins, but the Lord is your deliverer. Psalm 34 verses 17 to 19 declares, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. I declare that every oppressive force in your life is being broken right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord hears your cry, he sees your pain, and he is delivering you from all your troubles in Jesus' name. Every chain that the enemy has used to bind you is being shattered. Every burden is being lifted up your shoulders right now. The Lord Jesus is close to you, saving you from the enemy's grasps. You are free for whom the Son sets free is free indeed. That's John 8, 36 in Jesus' name. I declare over you the victory over fear, for the Lord is with you and he has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. The enemy often tries to instill fear in your hearts to weaken our faith and make you doubt God's promises. But Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? I declare that fear has no place in your life in Jesus' name. The light of God is shining upon you, dispelling every shadow of fear in Jesus' name. The Lord is your salvation, your deliverer from every evil plot in Jesus' name. The enemy may try to intimidate you, but I declare that you will stand firm in the strength of the Lord Jesus. Fear will not paralyze you. Doubt will not overwhelm you. For the Lord is the stronghold of your life in Jesus' name. No scheme of the enemy can shake you, for you are rooted in the love and power of God in Jesus' name. Psalm 3 verses 1 to 3 declare, Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I declare over you that the Lord is your shield, your protection against every attack of the enemy in Jesus' name. No matter how numerous or powerful your foes may appear, God is your defender. He lifts your head high above every circumstance, giving you the strength and confidence to face each day with boldness in Jesus' name. I declare over you the truth found in John 10 verse 10, which says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The enemy's agenda is clear, to steal your joy, kill your dreams, and destroy your purpose. However, as a child of God, you are not without defense. The word of God is your sword and through it, God will dismantle every plan the enemy has set against you in Jesus' name. 
In the Bible, we see various instances where the enemy tried to thwart God's plans for his people. One of the most notable examples is the one in the life of Joseph. His brothers, driven by jealousy, sold him into slavery, believing they had destroyed his destiny. But Genesis 50 verse 20 reveals the ultimate truth. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of many lives i declare over you that every evil plan meant to harm you will be turned around for your good in jesus name what the enemy meant for your downfall god will use to elevate you in jesus name god promises to protect his children from the evil plans of the enemy psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 declare whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I declare over you that you are dwelling in the sacred place of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, you are under the shadow of the Almighty and no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your dwelling. That's Psalm 91 verse 10 in Jesus' name. God's protection is not passive. It actively surrounds you like a shield. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I declare over you that the favor of God is shielding you from every fiery dart of the enemy. Every plan to harm you is being repelled by the favor of God that surrounds you in Jesus' name. The enemy's plan was to silence Daniel by having him devoured by lions. Verse 22 tells us how God intervened. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. I declare over you that the mouths of every lion in your life are being shut right now in the name of Jesus. No harm will come to you because you are innocent in God's sight, covered by the blood of the lamb in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. In Jesus' name, that's Isaiah 54, 17. The enemy may devise cunning schemes to derail your progress, to bring harm and to sow seeds of confusion and chaos in your life, but I declare that the Lord is your shield and protector. He will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, verse 14, in Jesus' name. The enemy's plans are destined for failure because God has already decreed that his purpose for your life will stand in Jesus' name. I declare over you that every trap set by the enemy will backfire and those who plot against you will stumble and fall. The Bible teaches us that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. This truth is not just a comforting statement but a powerful declaration of victory over the forces of darkness so i declare over you and i speak the authority of christ over every area of your life where the enemy has tried to gain a foothold in in jesus name whether it is in your health your finances your relationships or your mind i declare that the power of the enemy is broken in the name of jesus i declare over you that the blood of jesus covers you and protects you from all evil in jesus name the enemy cannot cross the bloodline and every curse spoken against you is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare over you that the Lord will expose and bring to light every hidden work of darkness in Jesus' name. The enemy often operates in secrecy, crafting his schemes in the shadows, but I declare that the light of God will shine brightly in every dark place in Jesus' name. Every evil plan, every secret plot, every deceptive scheme of the enemy will be uncovered and dismantled by the power of God in Jesus name the Bible says that a thief comes only to steal kill and destroy but Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly I declare over you that the abundant life of Christ will overwhelm every attempt of the enemy to steal your joy kill your dreams and destroy your destiny in Jesus name therefore I declare the Lord's verdicts over you according to Psalm 31 that says be strong and let your heart take courage all you who wait for the Lord today divine health and wholeness permeates into every cell of your body in the name of Jesus I command your bones tissues organs and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you receive the Creator's torch over your frame he formed you 
you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe, or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new, so I say, cells regenerate, inflammation subsides, nerves reconnect, and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays. Be made whole. I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24. That includes every emotional, spiritual, and physical wound you carry. Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing. I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross. Health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul. I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Every condition stemming from generational curses, personal sin, and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I declare your body healed and delivered. I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus' name. Receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12. Crippled hands are released restored vision and hearing every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the lord in faith i call forth divine restoration of rubbed health and lost years what the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale, tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope, and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help. Through medicine and physicians, receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus, reversed by his healing blood. Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness. By his stripes you will be made whole. Spirit, soul, and body, I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma, abuse, loss, and grief that opened us to sickness. Holy Spirit, Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. Our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character, and hope in you. You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. Ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, dear one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse 
for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that he will bring it to pass. I call forth a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. What Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call forth spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational causes, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the... Grant wisdom Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Read testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the roots now by God's healing word. Causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season when you yield all to him. I declare that those who honor God, they will honor. Humble yourself under his mighty hand and in due time, 
He will exalt you with wholeness, healing, and a new life. Take on the heart of a servant, leaning to love, compassion, and kindness for others while standing for your healing. This brings breakthrough upon breakthrough. I decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord as Psalm 118 verse 17 declares. Even if he ordains more waiting, know that God holds your life secure in his hands. He remains intimately close as your soul's high tower. Let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on his perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks, and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirits of affliction, lack of resources, or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds, and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. Amen. I declare you shall not die but have a long life and see the goodness of the Lord to the very end. I also pray Psalm 91 over you that you who live under the most high and almighty's shadow, God alone being your refuge and fortress, will be delivered from the perilous pestilence and deadly plague. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. No evil shall Shall conquer you. No scourge shall overwhelm your tent. You shall witness the reward of the wicked and see God's salvation with your very eyes. Beloved child, I declare Isaiah 38 verse 5 over your life, which says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. Receive extension and increase over your days, just as Ezekiah did. When death came knocking prematurely, the Lord shall make the sun's shadow go back ten steps on the stairway of Ahaz. You shall yet praise him with stringed instruments all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. I call forth Psalm 118 confessing, I shall not die but live and recount the works and wondrous words of God. Death has no claim over you, only life and peace in the spirit. The sting of death is sin, and Christ has conquered both grave and sin, sealing your eternity with his own blood. I declare the preserving power of the blood covenant, ensuring, ensuring no weapon formed against you prospers, and no plague destroys your dwelling. Beloved child, like Job, I stand in the gap and build a hedge of protection around you, your household, and all that pertains to you. I forbid any devil, disaster, or disease from crossing that bloodline to touching your body or life before ordained time. I dispatch angels to guard you in all your ways, bearing you up lest you dash your feet against a stone. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit and camp as a wall of fire around you. I speak supernatural reversal and repel of any death sentence or premature end spoken over your life by intention or prophecy, whether by medical verdict, word curse, spiritual divination, or legal judgment. Like when Mordecai uncovered Haman's sinister plot to annihilate the Jews, I expose the operations of darkness and cancel their contracts. No weapon formed against you shall succeed, and you will nullify every tongue that rises against you in condemnation or cause. For you are a child of the Most High God, brought for a great and glorious purpose. I declare that Jesus came to give you life more abundantly, a rich and satisfying life, pouring out blessings into eternity. 
The good shepherd that tends to you through death's darkest valley shadow, his rod and staff driving away all fear and despair, his table of feasts awaits in enemy's presence, his oil of joy refreshing your face, only goodness and unfailing love pursue you always into his house forevermore. Precious child like Lazarus, even if sickness leads to death, God shall yet have the final word and resurrection power to restore life and earth. Whether by miracle, manifestation, or through ultimate heavenly healing, deliverance shall belong to you. God shall wipe away every tear and transform ashes back to beauty again. Beloved one, I stand in agreement with with the psalmist confession in 31 verse 15, my times are in your hand. Your days, weeks, and years unfold under his sovereign design. Trust him to complete all he has started within you on this side of heaven. Then welcome you joyfully home when final breath draws near in appointed time. I speak Isaiah 65 verse 20 over your life that at 100 years you shall still bear fruit and prosper under lengthy days. Set your gaze beyond temporal troubles to the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for you. Allow this magnificent magnificent hope to renew strength and anchor soul through storms. Nothing passes his sight. Love ever remains working all things for good for those who answer his upward call. I release resurrection life and power over areas of affliction and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes you are healed. I forbid this sickness leading to any further foothold of infirmity or untimely death. I declare the preserving work of the great physician who heals all diseases upon you now. In Jesus' name, rise up healed, whole and restored. I paralyze the activity of any deceiving spirit impersonating diseased loved ones, appearing to draw your soul out of alignment with truth or lure you into occultic practices outside God's will. I break these deceptions of your life in Jesus' name. May your feet remain steadfast on the rock as you stay rooted in scripture and covenant with Christ alone as intermediary between heaven and those on earth awaiting his return. Beloved child of destiny, I declare the shield and armor of Psalm 5 verse 12 over your life. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as a shield. Set your gaze ahead on the joy set before you to finish your cause and ministry whole and strong. Allow no people, disease, disaster, or spirit of death rob remaining years of experiencing his goodness. Stay vigilant against bitterness as God writes brightest endings born of deep trust and surrender. Yours is the kingdom in all its fullness. Walk boldly into broad places, prepared to drink deeply Beloved child of promise, I call forth divine turnarounds over medical diagnosis declaring shortened life expectancy or disease progression leading to premature death. Receive grace, mercy, and wisdom for navigating uncharted waters ahead. May faith arise to walk on stormy seas through pain's mystery. Fix eyes on the healer's face. Nothing fails outside his redemptive plans. Where hopeless prognosis looms, God specializes in supernatural intervention, redirecting impossible outcomes. Jesus endured death, marching toward resurrection certainty. So shall you cross into greater glory through momentary light afflictions, preparing an incorruptible crown reserved for those discovering single eye vision witnessed from above. Shake loose all that entangles feet from running tirelessly as one raised with Christ. Detach completely from outcomes here. Reattach heart posture onto full obedience. Receive fresh download of kingdom perspectives. I seal this prayer over you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, the resurrection and the life by the power of his blood that has ransomed your life from destruction. I forbid any weapon formed against you to prosper now and all your days ahead. Search forward mightily into all your good father has prepared for you. The enemy will not prevail. You will finish your race strong in the center of God's glorious unfolding story. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.